Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sarah, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you why Google Calendar. Why should I invest my time in learning about Google Calendar? Well, let's start off with don't store stuff in your mind. I've heard a good saying, your mind is good for thoughts, not storing stuff. Next is inviting others. For an example, I go to different classes, for example, swimming, taekwondo, and of course, since I can't drive, I need my dad to drop me off. So I can invite my dad to my calendar where it says, at the five o'clock, you need to drop me at taekwondo. So he can make sure to plan nothing for that specific time. Next, reminders. Reminders are kind of like timers. But they instead remind you for other stuff. For example, maybe they remind me that in one hour, I need to go to my Taekwondo class, so get ready. Next is schedule planner. You can schedule different things on each day of the month, the week. So suppose I want to schedule basically my Taekwondo for Thursday, so you can schedule things. The next thing is become more productive. You can check what you've done most and least in your past month or past week. Suppose I noticed that I've been spending more time watching TV than studying, so I can become more productive by studying more than I watch video games. And the last thing is mental health. When you go over what you've done by the past month, you also can notice how much you've worked. Suppose you're noticing that you've been working almost nine hours every single day. That's a lot. So basically, Google Calendar is giving you the sign that you need to take a break. So get your Airbnbs ready because I know there's a great one. Anyways, that's it for today's video. In the next video, I'm going to be going over what is Google Calendar. Well, have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye.